Hello everyone and welcome back to Coach Craig Sports. Today is Tuesday, November 30th and this is the NBA DFS video for today. So in this video we're going to be doing a recap of yesterday's picks, seeing how they turned out. Talking about the injuries in play for tonight's slate, it is a smaller slate, a five game slate overall since it is a Tuesday. Then talking about my picks on both Fandle and DraftKings for tonight's slate as well. But without further ado, we'll get into yesterday's picks. I do have a couple extra ones just listed at the bottom because, you know, I had my core, I had some uh, other notes there. So there's a couple changing, moving pieces throughout the night. So at the point guard position, went with Kyle Lowry, $7,000. Looking for 35 points on him, he got to 42.5, so he was a hit. Justin Holiday, $3,500. Looked like a decent little value play to start the day. And then obviously, Miles Turner did not end up playing, so obviously helped him out just a little bit. We were looking for about 17, 18 points on him, he got to 28.5, so he was a hit. I did have Max Struess in my core initially if he was ended up starting. He didn't end up starting, so I put Duncan Robinson down. That was kind of a mistake. Uh, Duncan Robinson, $4,600. We were looking for 23 points on him. He got to 10.5. He was a mess. He only was one for nine shooting yesterday for a guy that is primarily known as a shooter. Robert Covington, who I did like quite a bit yesterday. He had been over 20 points for our last five games. Looking for 19 out of him at $3,800. We got to 5.75. Just a terrible night for him overall. He was a mess. 19 minutes, over three from the field. It was a blowout as well. Just pretty much everything that could go wrong went wrong for Robert Covington yesterday. And then last but not least was Jakob Pertl, $5,700. Looking for 29 points at him. He got to 36.75, so he was a hit as well. Then the other two that I do have listed here is DeMontis Sabonis. I had him in my notes if Miles Turner did not play. I liked him quite a bit. I did say that you could play him at power forward or center, just depending on what you preferred. $8,400, got to 66.75, so he was a hit. Very, very crazy good game for him. I believe it was like 25 rebounds, a triple-double. Like, just the game that you really want to get out of DeMontis Sabonis that we really haven't seen so far this season. Then Max Struss, too, he was in that initial core. If you end up playing him, he got 29 points at $3,300. Very good hit as well. Then on the Fandle side, we had Kyle Lowry once again, $6,800, looking for 34 points on him. He got to 39.4, so he was a hit. Justin Holiday once again, who was the replacement for Max Struess, $4,000, looking for about 20 points on him. He got to 28.8, so he was a hit. Keldon Johnson, who I did like quite a bit yesterday, $5,500, looking for 27, 28 points on him. He got to 22, he was a miss. Just didn't do a whole lot besides scoring yesterday. He played the minutes, he got about 35 minutes or so, I do believe, off the top of my head, and just wasn't much there like he shot it I believe six from eight for the field not a lot of rebounds not a lot of assists steals box or anything like that then PJ Washington $4,900 he did not end up in that starting lineup wasn't too concerned about it but you're looking for 24 25 points on he got to 22.6 he was a miss he played 32 minutes but he only had three rebounds for a guy that was playing the center position so just not too good there Jakob Pertl once again, $5,800, looking for 29 points on him. He got to 37.7, so he was a hit. And then if you put Devonta Sabonis in at $8,300, we were looking for about 42 points on him. He got to 60, so he was a very, very good hit on the Fandle side as well. So overall, a pretty solid day. There was a couple of bad misses here and there, especially on the DraftKings side. But if you got that Devonta Sabonis in there, you probably did pretty well last night. But with that being said, we'll get moved over into the injuries and play for tonight's slate. So we're going to start off with the New York Knicks and the Brooklyn Nets. So for the Knicks... R.J. Barrett, Taj Gibson, Nerlens Noel, and Derrick Rose are all listed as game time decisions. Questionable to play. We'll see who ends up playing out of these four players tonight. Obviously, the biggest ones we're looking at is R.J. Barrett and Derrick Rose. Supposedly, Kemba Walker is not going to be in the rotation for the time being. So, Alex Burks taking over at the point guard position last game out. Continuing it for this game, but if Derrick Rose is out there, he's probably going to get probably 24 to 26 minutes, I want to say. But it could be leaned back just a little bit since he's been out for a little while now. For the Brooklyn Nets, Kyrie Irving, Joe Harris, David Duke, and Nick Claxton are all out once again. So not many changes there overall. Pretty much the same thing we've been looking at for Brooklyn in recent games. For the Memphis Grizzlies, John Morant and Sam Merrill are out once again. Zaire Williams questionable to play. So obviously we got Tyus Jones in that starting lineup. A little bit more usage to go around. Some of these Memphis Grizzly players are going to look pretty good without John Morant and once again. For the Toronto Raptors, they are without Gordon Dragic, Kem Birch, OG Ananobi already, and then Gary Trent, questionable to play. We'll see if he ends up playing or not today. For the Warriors, they're without Wiseman, Thompson, Damon Lee, Andre Iguodala, and then Draymond Green is questionable to play. We'll see if he ends up playing tonight or not. And then for the Phoenix Suns, they're without Dario Saric and Frank Kaminsky once again. Abdul Nader, game time decision, but likely to play. So not really any changes there for the Suns. For the Detroit Pistons, just Kelly Olenek out once again. So they are pretty much all the way healthy or as healthy as they're going to get at this point in time. 
Portland Trailblazers, Norman Powell's game time decision questionable play. He did not end up playing yesterday. We saw Tony Snell in that starting lineup, but he did get out of play by Nazir Little as well. So we'll see if uh, Powell ends up playing today or if he doesn't end up playing, who's actually in that starting lineup tonight. Then moving down to the Lakers, Trevor Ariza, Kendrick Nunn are both out once again. LeBron James and Avery Bradley are questionable to play. Anthony Davis is probable tonight as always. Then for the Kings side, this is where we could maybe see a little bit of value. we got Harrison Barnes, Mo Harkless, and Rashawn Holmes all listed as questionable to play. We'll see who ends up playing out of that trio. If they all end up missing, there's probably going to be some good value on this Kings team. And in that case, they're probably going to get blown out. So projecting the minutes and everything else like that is going to be very important for this team overall on tonight's slate. But with that being said, that's a quick little rundown on all the injuries in play for tonight's slate. There's a couple of questionables that we're going to be taking a closer look at, especially when it comes to the R.J. Barrett, Derrick Rose, Gary Trent, Draymond Green even. Norman Powell, obviously, if he ends up playing or not, not really too concerned about that. Uh, obviously, LeBron James and then the Kings guys as well. So quite a bit of injuries actually on in play for tonight's slate being a five-game slate altogether. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to DraftKings and talk about my picks over there. So we're going to start off with the point guard position. Tyus Jones, $5,200, looking for 26 points out of him. You know, he's averaging 15 on the season, but he's in that starting role now. I have projected for about 27 points tonight. Then at shooting guard, we're going with Sheev Mikhailu. Obviously, I am a big Kansas Jayhawk fan, so every time I get to play a former Jayhawk, I'm a little bit excited on the inside, but he does make sense tonight. Obviously, this is if Gary Trent ends up missing again. If Gary Trent ends up playing, you're obviously going to want to pivot off of Sheev Mikhailu. He's been playing pretty well in the games that he started so far this season. Looking for 19 points out. I got projected for about 22 tonight, trying to do a little bit conservative projection with him overall. At the small forward position, we're going with Alex Burks, $5,600, looking for 28 points out of him tonight. He's in that starting point guard role now. If he's getting the minutes, if he's out there, if he's scoring, putting up decent stats, getting a couple assists here and there, definitely going to pay off for you tonight. And I currently have him projected for about 30 points. At the power forward position, we're going down to Scotty Barnes, $7,000. Obviously, if Gary Trent doesn't end up playing, this helps him out just a little bit as well. Looking for 35 points out of him. He's been playing better as of late. I got him projected for 36 points tonight. And then last but not least at the center position, we're going back to Isaiah Stewart. He's kind of been really up and down so far this season. I do like the upside at $4,600, though. Looking for 23 points out of him, about averaging just over 20 on the season, but I have him projected for 24 points tonight. This is a game that could end up going a little bit small ball since both teams do like to play small at the center position at times. So if that's the case, Isaiah Stewart might get run out of the game, but... It's probably going to be a guy that's not drawing a lot of ownership that does offer a little bit of upside as well. But if you go with these five players on the DraftKings side, you have $23,800 remaining, just over $7,900 per player. So definitely can try a balanced approach. You could definitely pay up for probably one stud on this slate, throw in a mid-range value and another value as we get some news throughout the day. Definitely a lot of different ways that we'll approach it. And obviously the injuries we just talked about not too long ago is going to make a big difference on tonight's slate overall. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to Fandle and talk about my picks over there as well. So at the point guard position, we got Tyus Jones, $4,600, looking for 23 points at him. I have him projected for 27 points once again on the Fandle side as well tonight. Then at shooting guard position, I'm going with Buddy Heald, $5,800, looking for 29 points at him, averaging about 27 on the season. I'm not expecting Harrison Barnes to play in this game. Maybe some of those other guys are out as well. If he's out there on the court, if he's getting 30 plus minutes, if he's taking a shot, he's going to be a guy that helps you out in your lineup overall tonight. I currently have him projected for about 30 points. Then at small forward, we got Dylan Brooks, $5,800. Not the guy that I'm too fond of myself personally, just the way he kind of plays, the way he interacts, especially when he was in college at Oregon. But at this point in time, you know, he's a guy that's out there. He's going to score. He's going to get more usage without John Morant on the court. Looking for 29 points at him, averaging about 28 on the season. I currently have him projected for 31 points tonight. So power forward, we're going right back to Scotty Barnes once again, $6,700. Looking for 34 points at him. Got him projected for about 35 tonight. If Gary Trent's not in that lineup, going to help him out just a little bit more once again. Then last but not least, the center position is something I'm not too fond of today myself on the Fandle side. Got LaMarcus Aldridge here. You could look at Julius Randle as well. Both are decent plays, but nobody else is projecting over five times value for me at this point in time. LaMarcus Aldridge, $6,100, looking for 30, 31 points at him. I got him projected for about 29 to 30 points tonight. He's been over 30 points three out of the last five games, so there's definitely that upside there. Whether or not he hits it tonight is going to be the major question for sure. But with that being said, if you go with these five players on the FanDuel side, you have $31,000 remaining, just over $7,700 per player. So you could take a balanced approach if that's something you want to do. There's definitely some good 
not top of the line prices, not quite mid range, but like just above that mid range prices today as well. So balanced approach could definitely work where you could pay up for a couple studs, find a couple value plays to go along with them and build your lineup from there as well. But with that being said, these are my picks for both FanDuel and DraftKings for today, November 30th. As always, if you have any other questions related to NBA DFS, especially for tonight's slate, be sure to leave them down in the comments below and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. I'll also be listing all the injury updates as well as starting lineups down in the comments as well. It is an interesting slate since we have the two early games and then like the three 10 o'clock games as well. So definitely be on the lookout for news. It's probably going to all come out at different times. Maybe we get lucky and we get some of that news early on in the day though. But with that being said, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Definitely would appreciate it. Helps to build the community that we're trying to build here at Coach Craig Sports, which is one that's truly for you, the viewers, helping you with your DFS, whether it's NBA or NFL, helping you with your fantasy football teams. And then with that being said, if you are a new or current subscriber who's yet to do so, also hit that notification bell down below. It's going to let you know every single time I post up a new video. Like I've been saying, I post up daily NBA DFS videos just like this. Yes, there's going to be a couple times throughout the year that I'm not able to do it on certain days, but I'll let you guys know that ahead of time. But with that being said, that's all I have for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. And then last but not least, a special little shout out to each and every one of you watching today's video. I truly do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Definitely means a lot to me and I hope each and every one of you has a great rest of your day.